So Goldman has had a tough week after earnings and some of the strategic decisions that we've seen with job cuts and the rest. How are you going to win back investors? Well, we're going to focus on performance. <laughs> yeah, I think the important point is the strength of the core franchises. And so if you look across our investment banking global markets footprint, which we've pulled those two businesses together, that reorganization is now complete. And if I look at the performance of that business, frankly, through last year, the performance was terrific and it's really important we continue that performance. The return on equity across that platform here was in the teens, yeah. in, in the 16% uh, thereabouts. So really good financial performance. But maybe more importantly, the market share market share grew across the corporate footprint, yeah. the institutional investor footprint. So you know, really, really strong performance. We've combined our asset management business into one unit. It's important we continue to grow management fees and, and yeah. drive that forward. So you know, those two core franchises, which really make up you know, the, the core of the firm, the bulk of the firm, we've got to continue to drive performance. And I think, and I think over time that will be rewarded. A any more strategic overhaul, you know, even more job cuts than already announced or, or changes in the way the business is run? No, we've, si we've sized the firm you know, to suit what we think the, the outlook will be. But of course, you, you have to be nimble. And I think it's important. Yeah particularly in a cyclical industry, in our industry, we continue to adapt to the environment. But you know, looking ahead, we think we've got you know, the firm you know, to the right place now. I think, importantly, we can continue to hire a lot of people. We're hiring you know, over 3,000 people from universities this year, so we're going to bring a lot of new people into the organization. We'll selectively hire up and down the organization. So these um, cuts you know, help us drive greater efficiency, help us size the footprint. Clearly, there's been you know, some um, adjustment across some of our consumer-facing platform businesses, and so we think we, we're set. But we, we will continue to adapt to the environment as it unfolds. Uh, Richard, what about compensation? So we've, we, we always try and match our compensation and the rewards for our people to performance. And last year was obviously a tougher year. We're very focused on driving returns for shareholders. We, we drove a 10% you know, plus ROE for shareholders last year. but. <coughs> Um, compensation and rewards for our people you know, have to re reflect overall performance. You know, and clearly, you know, last year was a tougher year than the year before when compensation was higher, and it's a cyclical business, and our compensation will continue to, to follow that trend. So how much will bonuses be cut? And actually, do you think staff will take it badly? I think our, our, our people have a long-term view. They, they're here to build a career, and they know that it's a cyclical industry. I think over time, it still it offers terrific returns for, for our people. But you have to take a long-term view and you have to look through the cycle and you have to you know, form a view as to what do you want your rewards to be over a cycle as opposed to any, any single, single year. And you know, there'll be good years and there'll be less good years. But history has shown that you stick with it over time, you do very well.